kind of sick to my stomach because, you know, they're not all there. It's like your children, you know what I mean? Let me just show you one. Ah, holy dude! It was in my hat! Hi everyone, how you doing? Uh, I'm a little stressed out right now, okay? And I'll tell you guys why. Because I have a hellish producer, there he is. Let me show you, there's the producer, this guy. So here's what the deal is. And I'm not, I'm actually a little annoyed. Um, every one of my rhinoceros iguana babies escaped. There they are, we've got eight back. Now last night, we got home from Kate's parents' house all the lizards were gone. How did I know this? Because I came in to check them when they were, they were living up here. One was, they got out of the tub and one was laying near the heat lamp. As you can see, this place looks totally different right now because I tore it apart to find lizards. We found, um, we found I'm still looking, there's two more. They have to be in here because I went absolutely nuts trying to find them elsewhere. Um, and the fact that I have such a, uh, I always like the kid about Tom, but I'm kind of serious about it. He's like, dude, it's a great video. It's a great video. <laughs> He's like, I'm stressing out. I just want to find my lizards because they're missing. But, but anyway. It, it is a good video. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> but if we find them, it's a good video. Um, but here's the deal. So we found one in Tom's room by the television. I found another one by the TV over there. The rest were all in here. Now they couldn't have gone far. So I kind of tore everything out, but I don't know. Here's the thing. I'm now starting to look differently. I might have to pull out all of these extra t-shirts that we have here because what happened was I actually found, I found a lizard that was wedged. It wedged itself up here and climbed up. So I looked and I found one this morning. So we found the eighth one this morning. So I'm still looking. Tom went and grabbed the camera because this is a good video for some reason. I don't know. Um, this <laughs> well, is... I can't believe they jumped out of those high walls because that's dude. high. All right, so here's the thing. I'm a knucklehead, all right? So I did the nursery. That's only good for a couple of days, to be honest, the nursery. And Tom came into town. We were filming a bunch of videos. And now I'm, I'm like, oh, crap. I, I should have gotten to that, uh, done this video earlier. Because when we went out last night and came home, like I said, they were all out of it. So anyway. So wait, um, there's two still left? There's two still missing. And we've got to find them. But now I've changed my game. I've been looking on the ground, but now I'm stressed because... We cleared the floor. They're not on the ground. Dude, I don't know. Look, I already looked everywhere. Here. Last night, I moved stuff. And look, you can see, here they all are. Okay, so they're the rest. These little dudes get so freaking spastic and they're ready for a new enclosure. Uh, they've shed, which is kind of cool. They've done their, um, let me just show you one. They're way more acro, ah, they're way more acrobatic right now. They've grown a bit and they shed. They had their first shed, much like a snake. They'll have their first shed after hatching and they are ready to eat. They're ready to go. So I want to get them out, but I'm really kind of, I'm joking around, but I'm kind of sick to my stomach because you know, they're not all there. And it's like your children, you know what I mean? Yeah. You want to make sure they're all they're there. They're valuable too, no? Well, yeah, they're valuable. <laughs> to me, I mean, they're valuable. But we got, I, I don't know, maybe, let's see if they're out here because I don't want to take too much time. Shut that though, and yeah, I've been, yeah. shut that. I mean, we looked freaking everywhere. You just folded that up, right? I, yeah, I went through everything we, in there. It's, it's not there. I mean, unless they're moving around this, and they're going to places where we were yeah, checked. But, but we were home all morning, so I don't think they did that. So I found one under here. There's no, like, openings in my walls that they could have crawled into, so I don't know. I mean, you looked in here too, right? Uh, yes, I looked everywhere. I you said that last night, and I found some where you looked. <laughs> Same well, thing. They, doesn't mean they can't go to the spot that I had looked. They could still be moving around. I don't know. No? I don't know. We were we looked out here for like hours this morning. Let me just check back here again. I'm gonna have to speed this up. <laughs> right? We could be here for an hour. Well, we were out here all day before we started filming. I don't know. Let's go over here. I looked over there. 
So here's the thing, though. I don't know. This is ridiculous. Could they climb up and go in a bag? Holy Dude! It was in my hat! It was in my hat! What? That is... Hold on, that just fell off of there? It just fell <laughs> off! And there's a lizard in my hat! That is insane! I didn't even bother looking there because I figured there's no way it's gonna climb up the iguana. That'd be a little too ridiculous. I thought, I figured, I was gonna say maybe he got into the bag that was no, down I, or something like that. Dude, I start looking at this just falls down. Lizard! <laughs> Come on, dude, people are never gonna believe this. I know, one thing. One people are never going to believe this, man. That is insane. What are you, a Peaky Blinder? He's in my Peaky Blinder hat. <laughs> this is the hat everyone hates That's when the I wear it. Everyone hates. Yeah, everyone <laughs> hates this hat. Oh my god. There you go. I'm wearing it for the rest of the video. This is insane. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You heard some? Was it the ones in there? That's. Cr I, I'm still, dude. Honestly, that's insane. I cannot freaking believe that, dude. You, I'm calling you Peaky. There's Peaky. Unbelievable. How did it just fell off? I was looking into the thing. That's awesome. Whatever, dude. Loving it. We still gotta. You will have to speed this video up. It is what it is. <laughs> All right, let's check under here again. Back this way. Oh, I found the lizard. There's an animal in here. Wait, what? Look. Look. There's a little animal. Look at. There's a little animal. But wait a second. There's a tail there too. Hold a second. You see the animal? That's an animal. Yeah. What's this? Oh, that's not your lizard. Wait. What's this? <laughs> there he is! There's the, th the last one. We gotta get that anole. Ah, he's biting me. <laughs> oh, you bit me. Ah, oh, dude, we got him. We got them all. And then we got, hold on, look at this. <laughs> we got an anole. This, together. Yeah, this is probably from. Uh, hold on, all I can say is we checked that corner. Uh, did you move? Yeah, did you? Night. No, I definitely. Oh, last night. Last you night. looked there last 100%, night? Yeah. I looked there last night. I didn't see him, so he must have moved there. That's it. We got all 10 lizards. There were 11, but if you were following my Instagram, one did have a uh, mortality, one died, and that was just because the yolk never fully absorbed. Uh, it had some kind of problem with its yolk. So we have 10 lizards and a bonus, uh, brown and all. All right, now we can get on with this video and get these animals in a more secure place. <sighs> Dude, I was stressed, man. You know I was stressed, Tom. Huh? You're really stressed. Huh? Yeah, was that okay. sucked. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm kind of glad you All right. started filming. All right, good. All right, so uh, can we regroup? Can we make an edit and regroup and then just let's bring them to their new yeah, let's, new let's home. Their well, what are, to be honest, this I got their second, their third home, second home already. Second this home. is their second home. Let's put this guy outside. Um, I'll throw this one in here. All right, we'll see you outside. Yeah, we'll see you outside. We're gonna release this guy. Put this guy. Out. See you in a minute. All right, so now's a good time for me to also take a moment and. Give a shout out to our sponsor, Audible. I really love these guys. Audible is amazing. And it's also the time of the year when everyone's traveling or running around trying to get things together, like gifts for those that you love and people you care about. Well, you know what you can do? Give yourself a gift. Why not give yourself the gift of an Audible subscription? It's just incredible. And if you guys act now, you'll get this. Here, I ain't gonna fake it. Check it out, I got it written down. <laughs> right now, for a limited time, you can get three months of Audible for just $6.95 a month. That's an amazing value, $6.95 a month. Choose one audiobook and two Audible originals absolutely free. Visit audible.com slash Camp Kennan or Text Camp Cannon to 500, 500 Now, what's great about Audible is, you know, you're on the road, you're working in the yard, work with your animals. Just listen to an audiobook. They're incredible. I'm listening to Will Chaffee's Swimming with Crocodiles, which is a really cool tale, and it's in the same vein as uh, Into the Wild, where it's one young man's journey into Australia, where he just explores the entire continent uh, from a Daihatsu Jeep, which sounds pretty exciting to me, even though it only went about 20 miles an hour. Still an adventure of a lifetime. I wish I actually had my Outback hat on now instead of my little Peaky Blinders cap, but hey, check it out. Will Chaffee Swimming with Crocodiles, as you can tell, we swim with crocodiles here at Camp Kennan. So here's what I want you to do. For a limited time, you get three months of Audible for only $6.95 a month. 
That is incredible. So that's more than half off. Yeah, the regular price. You guys want to check that out. You could choose one audiobook, two Audible Originals, which is great because the Audible Originals are from famous authors, journalists, and luminaries that are exclusively creating content and doing audiobooks for Audible. So choose one audiobook, two Audible Originals, absolutely free. Visit audible.com slash Camp Cannon or text Camp Cannon to 500-500. Really love our partnership with Audible. It's a great way to entertain yourself and a great way to get educated. All right, now back to the task at hand. Thanks for listening on. And I really love when companies like that support us. So thank you. All right, so here we got, we got all the lizards in here. Okay, so all 10 lizards are in here. As you've, you've seen this enclosure before, this is my little kind of grow out for my young cyclora. So we want to have plenty of hideouts, but I also want to have some food dishes, which I have some food dishes, but you know what? We need a little water, Tom. I'm going to go grab, going to grab the hose and we're going to fill this up. Excuse me, sir. Very good stuff right there. Let's fill it on up. So we give these guys some fresh water, very important for all forms of life. <laughs> Now, the reason I put these guys in the bag is because they are absolutely out of their minds. Uh, but the one thing I want to check first is I need to grab one lizard. And I just want to make sure. Okay, here they come. Oh, and they're, they're a little spastic, so let's grab one. Don't bite me. Don't hurt me. We got to be careful. Got to be careful. Got to be careful. We don't want to lose one. All right, good. Here's what I want to check, guys. We got to make sure they've grown enough. Look at this. They have. They've grown enough that they cannot fit in any way, shape, or form through these uh, holes. And these squares are actually, they're one inch by half inch. This is the vinyl coated stuff. Uh, I like this enclosure. It's simple, it's easy, it's on wheels. I can move it in and out of the snake room to keep it warm. And uh, we've got plenty of hides. I might put some plants in here just for some more security, but as little baby rhinos are growing when they're small like this, these little dudes actually are more arboreal. They'll become arboreal because even though the adults are considered herbivores, they will eat their own young or young of another clutch or another, uh, another set of parents' um, offspring. Uh, it's just the way it is. So the babies will then go on up into trees for a little while until they can stake out their own territories and some of the bigger ones pass on and they fill that niche. They replace themselves. That's what's amazing. So I really don't know the sex of these guys. You have to probe them. I like to wait about six months before I do it. Um, guys like my friend Ty Park and Ron St. Pierre, these guys are able to, uh, you know, probe them. So I may take a few of these lizards over there uh, to get probed just so I know what the sexes are. But really, either sex of the rhino iguanas are really, really impressive animals. So this is a beautiful little baby. So we've got 10 little babies. We're gonna go put them in. There you go. And right into the hide. So the rest, guys, I've gotta be careful. Um, so why don't we just go for it like this? I'm gonna kinda put them all out and let's hope they just all go that way. And you get ready to move, Tom, because I may pull this out really, really fast. You're going the wrong way. I can feel your heads go. There we go. Just shake out the bag, shake out the bag. I could also leave the bag in, but we don't wanna do that. We wanna see them all out. All right. There you have it, everybody. We got the little guys all set up in their new enclosure. Pretty easy. They're gonna be basking, running around. They can't get out, thank goodness. Whoo, I gotta tell you. Now, I know a lot of you guys are gonna call BS on this video, but that's okay because the reality is all 10 were gone. I can breathe a sigh of relief and I can also walk in slow motion through an industrial Birmingham while things blow up behind me. We'll see you later. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? No. You don't? What? Thomas Shelby, dude. Peaky Blinders. <laughs> Check it out. It's a good show. See you later.